Hello again, I am Mahima Bhardwaj from Bioinformatica. In this video, we will discuss and understand everything about biological databases. Let's get started. Starting with the term biological database. So what is biological database? Let's break the term and understand meaning of it. Here bio means life. So the biology stands for study of living organisms. Thus, first term biological is relating to biology or to life and living things. Next term is database. Database is a collection of information that is organized so that it can be easily accessed, managed and updated. In simple words, biological database is the collection of biological information that is organized so that it can be easily accessed, managed and updated. So what kind of data we need to deal with? The classical data of bioinformatics include DNA sequence of gene or full genome, sequence of protein and 3D structure of protein, nucleic acids and protein nucleic acid complexes. Additional omics data streams includes transcriptomics, the pattern of RNA synthesis from DNA, genomics and proteomics. There are 1552 databases that are publicly accessible online and these biological databases can be classified into three categories. Primary database, secondary database and derived database. Primary and secondary databases are differentiated on the basis of source we obtain them from. Primary database is collected from lab experiments whereas secondary database are derived from primary one. Further, both primary and secondary databases are classified into two categories, whether it is for nucleotide sequence or for protein sequence. Let's take one by one. Starting with primary database, differentiated as nucleotide sequence database and protein sequence database. Few examples of nucleotide sequence databases are GenBank, DDBJ and EMBL. These three include sequence submitted directly by scientists and genome sequencing group and sequences taken from literature and patents. All published nucleotide sequences are requested to be deposited in the one of these three databases. Data are exchanged among these three databases on daily basis. Taking them one by one, GenBank is one of the fastest growing repositories of non-nucleotide sequence. It has a flat file structure. Now what is flat file structure? It is an ASCII text file readable by both humans and computers. This database has been developed and maintained at NCBI USA. An overview of GenBank database. There are several ways to search and retrieve data from GenBank. Very first is to search GenBank for sequence identifiers and annotations with entries nucleotide. Second is to search and align GenBank sequence to query sequence using BLAST. Third is to search, link and download sequences programmatically using NCBI e-utilities. Fourth way is on the NCBI's anonymous FTP server flat file formats are available. We can see here is flat file format. It consists of header, feature table and sequence in which header contains information about accession number, source, reference, title, etc. Feature section include annotation information about the gene and gene product as well as regions of biological significance reported in the sequence with identifiers and qualifiers. The third section sequence starts with origin and ends with two forward slashes. Next nucleotide sequence database is DDBJ or DNA database of Japan. It is located at the National Institute of Genetics NIG in Japan. It began data bank activities in 1986 at NIG and remains the only nucleotide sequence data bank in Asia. DDBJ Center collects nucleotide sequence data as a member of International Nucleotide Sequence Database Collaboration and provide freely available nucleotide sequence data and supercomputer system to support research activities in life sciences. 
It provides databases maintained through web services. Databases can be downloaded from their FTP sites. That's all about DDBJ. Now the third nucleotide sequence database is EMBL, that is European Molecular Biology Laboratories. It is a comprehensive database of DNA and RNA sequence. It was established in 1980. It is maintained by EBI, that is European Bioinformatics Institute. The main activity of the group is the development, maintenance and distribution of a comprehensive database of nucleotide sequence. A typical entry in EMBL contains a sequence, a brief description for cataloging purposes, the taxonomic description of the source organism, bibliographic information and the feature table containing location of coding regions and other biological significant sites. It was all about nucleotide sequence database. Let's see protein sequence database. We will go through three databases namely SwissProt, PIR and PRF. SwissProt. This is a curated protein sequence database that offers a high level of integration with other databases and also has a very low level of redundancy. SwissProt strives to provide protein sequences with a high level of annotation, for instance, the description of protein function, domain structure, and post-translational modifications, etc. Next is TREMBL. TREMBL is a computer annotated supplement of SwissProt that contains all translationals of EMBL nucleotide sequence entries, which is not yet integrated in SwissProt. Currently, SwissProt have 0.5 and TREMBL have 7.6 million sequences. Last is PIR. PIR, that is Protein Information Resource, is an integrated public bioinformatics resource to support genomic and proteomic research and scientific studies. Nowadays, PIR offers a wide variety of resources mainly oriented to assisting the propagation and consistency of protein annotations like PRSF, ProClass, and ProLink. By this, we have completed the discussion about primary database. Now jumping to secondary database, we already know it is also further classified for protein structure and nucleotide or domain and motif database. Few examples of protein structure databases are PDB, EBI, MSD, MMDB. This is how the page of PDB looks like. PDB Protein Data Bank is the main database for 3D structures of biological macromolecules which are determined by X-ray crystallography and NMR. It also accepts experimental data used to determine the structures and homology models. RCSB PDB, that is Research Collaboratory for Structural Bioinformatics, provides a variety of tools and resources for studying the structures of biological macromolecules and their relationships with other sequences, its function, and diseased cost, if any. I am happy to share that PDB is celebrating its 50th year anniversary. It's been 50 years of PDB. Cheers to all bioinformaticians watching this video. My guide used to say, you must know the molecule of the month and its basic role if you want to be called bioinformatician. Do comment if you knew molecule of the month earlier. Various gateways to access PDB files are SwissProt, NCBI and EMBL. And for interpretation, DALI, SCOP are few of databases. Next is MMDB. It is Molecular Modeling Database. MMDB is a database of experimentally determined three-dimensional biomolecular structure which is hosted by NCBI. One can retrieve 3D structure by MMDB ID or PDB ID. Here the photograph represents 3D structure of tumor suppressor gene complexed with DNA. Moving to derived databases. Derived databases are further classified in four classes as structure database, gene expression database, metabolic pathway database, and specialized database. We will see few examples of each database. As structure database, we will see SCOP and CAT. Gene expression database, we will see GEO, GXD, MGED. In metabolic pathway database, we will read about CAG, PathDB, EMP. And last is specialized database in which we will see examples as TGI, GSOB, GPCRD. As for now, we know derived databases further classified as structural 
database, gene expression database, metabolic pathway database, and specialized database. Let's learn about them one by one. First, talking about structure database. It consists of SCOP structural classification of protein database and CAT class architecture topology homology. SCOP structural classification of protein database classifies protein 3D structures in a hierarchical scheme of structure classes. All the protein structures in PDB are classified here and the updated new structures are deposited in PDB. The CAT database class architecture topology homologous contains a hierarchical classification of protein domain structure. Next is gene expression database. In this, we will see GEO or gene expression omnibus is a curated online resource and a gene expression molecular abundance repository for gene expression data browsing, query and retrieval. Next is GXD, gene expression database is a community resource for gene expression information. Next one is MGED or microarray gene expression data contains microarray data generated by functional genomics and proteomics experiments. Last but not the least is metabolic pathway database. Here we will see CAT pathway database which contains graphical pathway maps for all known metabolic pathways from various organisms. Next is EcoPsych is an E. coli database which stores information regarding the genome and biochemical machinery of E. coli. Third one is ligand that is a chemical database for enzyme reactions at the Institute for Chemical Research, Kyoto. It is composite database currently consisting of the compound, drug, glycan, reactions, repair and enzyme databases. This was all about the classification. In last, I have compiled databases for various model organisms. Let's have a look on that. Like for E. coli, it has got two kinds of databases. That is, one is E. coli Genome Center and the other one is the E. coli Index. Next is Arabidopsis thaliana. The name of database is TAIR, the Arabidopsis Information Resource. Third one is Homo sapiens. Human Genome Resources at NCBI USA. Fourth is Oriza Sativa or RICE, RGP, RICE Genome Research Program, Japan. Next is for Drosophila melanogaster, it is FlyBase, Drosophila Genome Database. Next is about mouse, Mus musculus, the database is named Mouse Genome Informatics. Next one is for Zebrafish, Danio Rario. ZFIN Zebrafish Information Network at the University of Oregon, USA. Last one is for Baker's East, East Genome Database at Stanford, USA. That's all for now. Hope you have utilized your time and learned something from this video. Any queries would be answered in the comment section. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell icon to stay notified.